Amidst growing speculation, Obama finds himself in a state of unease due to the potential revelation of a concealed truth by his departed chef. Barack Obama, a prominent figure in the realm of politics renowned for his role as the 44th President of the United States, is primarily remembered for his resounding message of hope and change. The New York Post obtained a letter that the former president wrote to his ex-girlfriend when he was just 21 at Occidental College in LA. You see, I make love to men daily, but in the imagination. By 2008, it was obvious to anybody who was paying attention that Barack Obama had a strange and highly creepy personal life, yet nobody ever asked him about it. By that point, a leader's behavior within his own marriage, the core relationship. A lot of different media outlets said the fact that he didn't know how to swim. Matter of fact, there was a post of Instagram of him where he didn't know how to swim. And then a Yet his public persona merely scratches the surface as recent discussions have taken a turn towards a hidden aspect of his life. The passing of his former chef has brought to light the possibility that this culinary confidant held a confidential piece of information. This enigma has now cast a distinct spotlight on Obama, igniting a sense of intrigue regarding the nature of this undisclosed matter. The notion that a chef, privy to the tastes and preferences of influential figures, might have been privy to a hidden facet of a leader's existence carries a certain allure. The growing discourse surrounding this clandestine subject only serves to intensify our collective curiosity. What exactly could this secret entail? Could its revelation potentially reshape our perception of Obama? These queries serve as a driving force, compelling us to delve deeper into the intricate interplay between personal lives and political personas, the equilibrium between the apparent and the concealed. Despite Obama's tenure as president being characterized by transparency and progressive change, the emergence of this hidden dimension poses new layers to unravel. However, within the realm of politics, veiled narratives and undisclosed choices often reside. The mere contemplation that the chef could have been privy to one of these concealed elements piques our curiosity. It mirrors the intrigue we feel when pondering the mysteries concealed behind a shut door. The chef's knowledge appears to transcend culinary anecdotes. It triggers contemplation about how those in close proximity to influential leaders perceive their personal domains. The recent passing of Tafari Campbell, formerly the personal chef for the ex-president Barack Obama, has set in motion a cascade of conjectures emerging from the far-right faction. Such occurrences tend to breed conspiracy theories. Tragically, Tafari Campbell met his demise while engaging in paddleboarding near the ex-president's abode in Martha's Vineyard over the weekend. The Massachusetts State Police disclosed that they received an alert on a Sunday evening regarding an individual on a paddleboard who had entered the water and appeared to struggle in maintaining buoyancy before eventually submerging beneath the surface. It wasn't until Monday that Campbell's body was located and subsequently retrieved. Nevertheless, owing to the scarcity of available evidence, a number of prominent right-wing sources have propagated unconventional narratives concerning Campbell's demise. These narratives hint at the possibility of sinister forces at play. Authorities were alerted when an individual reported a paddleboarder entering the water, grappling at the surface, and then vanishing underwater without resurfacing, as recounted by the police. However, the identity of the person who made the call to the police and those present with Tafari Campbell when the drowning occurred remains veiled and undisclosed to the public eye. This lack of transparency has led to speculation that perhaps Obama could be entangled in significant difficulties, concealing aspects he preferred to remain unknown to the world. Despite being officially classified as an accident, the authorities have consistently withheld information, ostensibly under the pretext of an ongoing investigation. The shroud of secrecy surrounding this matter has ignited conjecture, raising questions about whether Tafari Campbell possessed potentially incriminating insights regarding Obama, which could have played a role in his untimely passing. Despite Campbell's background as a proficient swimmer, his cause of death, officially ascribed to drowning while engaged in paddleboarding, has triggered a contentious discourse across the digital realm. Amidst the prevailing online buzz, the Twitter community has unveiled intriguing parallels between the tragic demise of Tafari Campbell and White House chef Walter Scheib. Chef Scheib, renowned for his service during President Clinton's administration, met a similar fate by drowning in New Mexico. These occurrences have spawned a wave of conspiracy theories as online users draw captivating links between the destinies of these two White House chefs. In the midst of this, an Instagram video of considerable circulation propagates unsupported assertions, 
contending that Tafari Campbell was in the process of composing a revelatory book about the Obamas. Speculations suggest that this unpublished manuscript potentially contained revelations concerning Barack Obama. These purported revelations revolve around correspondences with an individual named Alex. Allegedly, these letters delved into Obama's introspections regarding his relationships with men and his potential sexual orientation. Of particular significance were other notable figures from Obama's past, Alex McNair and Genevieve Cook. Remarkably, both individuals have disclosed the entirety of the letters they received from Barack during their respective relationships with him. These letters, often handwritten on postcards and paper, provide a window into a bygone era when digital communication was not as ubiquitous. Particularly intriguing was a specific paragraph within these letters, hitherto undisclosed to the aforementioned recipients. This paragraph has since entered the public domain through channels affiliated with Emory University. This particular passage delved into matters of homosexuality and ignited considerable media coverage. It emerged that Obama had shared with his former girlfriend his experiences of recurring fantasies involving relationships with men during his formative years. The potential book attributed to Tafari Campbell had the capacity to illuminate Obama's personal relationships and individual journey. Lingering in the background is the question of whether a concealed truth lies beneath the surface. Within the realm of social media, some posts have put forth a surprising assertion that Campbell's body was discovered displaying signs of injury. Notably, one specific post on a platform once hosted by Twitter gained substantial traction, amassing over 4 million views by the onset of August. However, upon scrutiny by experts, an alternate narrative emerged. The officials who attended the scene and the medical examiner who assessed the body did not observe any visible injuries or harm. In response to inquiries from PolitiFact, the Massachusetts State Police, through a representative for the Obamas, corroborated this account, adding an intriguing dimension to the discourse. This clarification was not disseminated publicly as is customary. The authorities were determined to ensure the accurate representation of the facts. The initial examination conducted by the Maine Medical Examiner's Office yielded no indications of suspicious circumstances or foul play contributing to the death. However, there remains more to unveil. The complete particulars have yet to be disclosed as they await the results of toxicology reports. Consequently, the precise cause of Campbell's passing has not been definitively determined or officially disclosed at this juncture. During the occurrence of the incident, the Obamas were not in residence at Martha's Vineyard as verified by state police. Campbell, originally from Dumfries, Virginia, was on a visit to Martha's Vineyard, as affirmed by the authorities. This aspect has sparked a plethora of conjectures about the Obamas' whereabouts and the potential direct involvement of Obama in Chef Tafari Campbell's demise. Subsequently, according to a report by the Boston Globe, the couple's presence on the island on that Sunday was confirmed. This assertion was substantiated by the former president's office. This new detail swiftly captured the attention of influential figures on social media who align with the conservative facet of the political spectrum. Hints emerged suggesting that the Obamas might have intentionally obscured their whereabouts, leading to insinuations that they were concealing their location during the unfortunate incident of Campbell's drowning. In response to the untimely passing of Tavari Campbell, Barack and Michelle Obama chose not to remain reticent. They issued a statement expressing, He's been a part of our lives ever since and our hearts are broken that he's gone. The statement further conveyed, Today we join everyone who knew and loved Tafari, especially his wife Sharice and their twin boys Xavier and Savin, in grieving the loss of a truly wonderful man. Following Obama's exit from the White House, the family extended an invitation to Campbell to continue residing with them, an offer which he willingly accepted according to the Obamas. In light of the chef's passing, certain conspiracy theories have arisen suggesting that he was coerced to remain in their midst to ensure close observation of his activities, preventing any potential exposure of secrets he might have known about Obama. As various theories gain momentum on social media, individuals are piecing together these fragments to form a broader narrative. An online user named Liz Crocken, who follows QAnon, has put forth the notion that Campbell's passing could be attributed to his involvement in an event held at the White House, hosted by Obama. Certain individuals speculate that this event featured lavish cuisine, including items like hot dogs and pizza. However, this interpretation transcends mere culinary matters and is intertwined with a preceding conspiracy theory known as Pizzagate.
Within certain segments of the QAnon community, there exists a belief that Obama allocated a substantial sum of $65,000 for illicit activities related to children. This belief draws from a leaked email exchange dating back to 2009 involving personnel who catered for an Obama-hosted Super Bowl party at the White House. These threads of speculation converge, adding to the puzzle of why Tafari Campbell met his untimely end. Among these discussions, an online user questioned why, if the incident was officially ruled as accidental, it continues to remain under investigation. Another individual remarked on Campbell's prowess as a skilled swimmer, emphasizing that it would be difficult for someone of his swimming capabilities to struggle with paddling steadily over long distances. The user referenced a video where Campbell's swimming proficiency was evident. This led to the observation that swimmers possess the resilience to overcome challenges even when facing life-threatening situations. So, that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.